Hey guys, welcome back for Try It Out Tuesday. Today I'm going to be trying out Julep's new Length Matters Mascara. I actually showed this in my Julep unboxing, I'll link that down below. But I'm really excited because this is the lengthening one, obviously, Length Matters. And there's a picture on here of a before and after with the eyelashes that are just unretouched just from this mascara. And it looks exactly like what I want. And they have some claims on their um, website as to what this mascara is supposed to do. Uh, and it drew me in because it said it's a creamy formula that gently sculpts each lash for exaggerated length, lift, and definition. And that's what I look for. I like my lashes to look long and I want them to be separated and lifted and so you can actually see them so defined. So sounds like exactly what I'm going to want. I think that the um, actual product here, like it is super cute packaging, looks great, it feels nice. You know, it's not like a super cheap feeling tube if that makes sense. So I have high hopes for it. Let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the bristles, it looks like a silicone type brush, which tends to not be my favorite, but we'll see. I guess the website says it's a finely tapered micro bristle brush, and it's supposed to give you a softly curled wide eyed look that stretches the limits. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can see this. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe off a little bit of the mascara excess that was on the tip. And let's see how this does. Now, oh, I did note on the package that it said do not wiggle. It just said to, what did it say, brush the lashes? Start the base of your lashes and sweep upward. Don't wiggle the brush. Go as long as you want. So I don't know if that means, like, add as many coats as you want or what. I just know I'm not supposed to wiggle it. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is doing a pretty good job with length. Actually, does this have fibers in it? I don't, I don't think it does, but look at that. Like my lashes are super long. I mean, I don't have short lashes to begin with, but most mascaras don't do this. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with that. I like to kind of put, I like to go to the base and then kind of blink and pull my lashes through. I feel like that does a good job separating. And even though that this is like a silicone wand, it seems like it's separating pretty nicely. I like this. This might be my new go-to mascara. Okay, so I think that's pretty well coated. You can see it's giving me a lot of length. Um, the eye that's done versus the one that's not. I really like that. It looks like it's getting a little bit clumpy. I don't know if that's because there was a lot on my brush. But I'm going to let that uh, do its thing and set. And I'm going to do my bottom lashes. Okay, bottom lashes. Oh, almost started to wiggle there. Okay, so there is one coat on my upper and lower lashes. I'm loving this mascara so far. I mean, before and after, I think it looks, I mean, I've been using the Tarte Gifted Mascara, and I've been loving that because it separates, but this not only seems like it's separating, but it's also giving me a lot of length. So let's go back and see maybe if I can do a second coat. I don't know what it's going to do. It's kind of like half dried. Yeah, okay, it's getting a little bit spidery here. Okay, so I'm going to stop with that because we're getting a little bit clumpy. I think maybe this is the kind of mascara where you can do, um, like you can keep building it if you, like if it's still wet, but once it sets, that's just my initial impression, once it sets it seems like it's kind of going to clump up, so let's do a second eye. Now they described this as a creamy formula, which I kind of agree with that. It's not, I mean it feels wet, but I think creamy is a better way to describe it. So here are the finished lashes. Um, I actually really, really like this mascara, and I think that there are some definite pros to this mascara, and then there's also some cons. So first off, I think this gives you some really good length, and it's very, very quick. So if you're the kind of person who doesn't want to mess around with doing your mascara, which I think is most of us. I mean, I know a lot of people use like multiple different mascaras to kind of get the perfect look, to have no clumps, and to get length and volume. Um, but that can take a long time, and if you're like, you know, busy mom like I am, sometimes you just want to be able to use one mascara that you can do just one quick coat, and it gives you a nice everyday look. And I actually think that this might be the mascara for that. Like, it's giving me fast, it says high impact, and I think it does. And I like the length, I like that it's separated. I don't, you know, I wouldn't go back for a second coat. I think it gets kind of funky once you do that, so I kind of feel like I, I may have messed it up a little bit trying to get a second coat. 
but I think this is cool. Anyways, that's my first impression. I'm going to check back at the end of the night tonight and I'll let you know how it ended up performing, uh, if I've got any flaking, if I've got smudging, anything like that. It doesn't say waterproof or anything, so I will let you guys know.